The other day I was cruising through the internet and I came across an article that caught my attention. It was titled, The Darker Side of Living to 100. And while the article focused mostly on the emotional aspects of aging, my mind as a certified financial planner immediately shot on how to handle clients that are expected to have long life expectancies. It's not unreasonable to come across clients whose both parents lived well into their 90s. With the advances of healthcare and nutrition, this is not uncommon. I believe that it's pivotal to plan for the possibility of living to 100 in retirement. Let's get started. Finding a balance in life is always important. So first, I wanna talk about making sure that your lifestyle and retirement and the needs in retirement are balanced properly. This doesn't mean you put your travel plans on hold, but you have to realize as you dive deeper into your years of retirement, you wanna make sure your health insurance needs are adequate and covered. Considering the giant unknown of how long you will live and market performance, this becomes more crucial. Nobody knows exactly what the market will do in the near or long term, but technology can simulate how very good, bad, and average markets will play out over a 30 to 50 year period. I always start by identifying ways to achieve a client's must-haves at a 90% probability of success. Next, I wanna focus on the importance of long-term care. Planning for healthcare and long-term care expenses in retirement is pivotal. The chances that you will need long-term care or nursing care grow as you age, and healthcare costs are rising faster than inflation. Add in that it's difficult to plan for these expenses. You don't know when or whether you will need them or how long you will need them. The US Department of Health and Human Services estimates that someone turning age 65 today has almost a 70% chance of needing this type of long-term care in the remaining years. If I'm your advisor, you're paying me for a reason. Put me to work. Clients are often reluctant to plan, sometimes assuming incorrectly that they can rely on rules of thumb to make their financial decisions. There's no one rule that applies to the specific goals of my clients that are trying to achieve their goals. Generic saving and spending assumptions will only get you so far. For clients saving for retirement, we can calculate the specific wealth level they need to increase their probability of success to have the retirement of their dreams. The numbers required to plan conservatively can be jarring and they often spur clients to take action and make adjustments needed well before they become a problem and you're too old to rejoin the labor force. Overall, I can't emphasize enough the importance of having a plan, monitoring that plan and making adjustments where needed. It's important to remember that a financial plan is an ongoing conversation. I don't set a plan and then revisit it 40 years later just to see how it worked out. Actual performance can be tracked over a period of time so my clients can see how they're doing relative to their goals. Technology available today makes it easy to track my clients' progress towards their goals. The plan is a living document and I can contact if something needs attention. My advice is to plan conservatively. Plan on living to 100. We'll see you next time for the next episode of Nestology TV. Until then, be good.